Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. This is episode, what, what is this? Eight now? I think it's eight or seven. Seven or eight. Shit. <laughs> One of them. A couple of things to mention. I've been away for about two weeks. I've, I've said this. I just want to reiterate it in case nobody knows. But yeah, I've had a break. I have been playing little bits here and there. So what I'm going to show you guys in a minute is just a, a massive amalgamation of everything that I've done while I've been away. And as you can see, there's there's a couple of builds. Oh, no, that's my face. There's a, there's a build over there behind me. That's new. That's decorated. There's a bunch of floating blocks in the sky <laughs> and there there's a there's another build over there huh pretty cool right i have tried to be a busy bee and i can't guarantee there's going to be as much going on in future episodes but i'm going to roll a montage of everything that i've been doing and i don't know whether you guys enjoy these like i love watching people's redstone builds and stuff using replay mod but some people might get bored of that nonetheless enjoy the episode enjoy the montage and uh, i hope all of these changes kind of show you how terrible i am as a builder <laughs> roll the intro Hit the montage. Let's go, baby. Think about me one more time before you go. Feeling this way for far too long And now you're gone Took me away from all of my fears Alright, so now that you just watched that, what did you think? I'm getting better with the replay mod. I feel like I went a bit OTT with it this week. But like I say, I was away from the keyboard, so that's why there's so much. Anyway, here we go. So we have the normal cactus farm that we had in previous episodes. And I have also... My god, why is that so loud? I have fixed and rebuilt the, the pumpkin farm. I'm going to extend it as soon as I get some more time. And also I want to work out how many emeralds I can get for the pumpkins. I'll throw in some melons as well at some point. But for now, you literally just open this. Uh, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you open, you, you, there you go, pumpkins, I've already harvested them, that's working and fixed, I couldn't figure out how to make the redstone happen, so I definitely didn't watch a YouTube tutorial and figure it all out, the sugarcane farm, I've replaced the panes for actual glass blocks, because the sugarcane kept popping out and wouldn't be caught by the hopper, the cactus farm is pretty much exactly the same, I don't think I've done anything to that, we have some ships, ships, ships that I will be moving over to the barn, that you guys have already seen, I was about to like, it's a surprise, you've just watched like three minutes worth of montages, hopefully it won't be that long, that'll be 
scary. The wheat farm is good to go. It's pretty much a duplicate of what I have on Mindful. Uh, it makes my life a lot easier having this so that I don't have to manually harvest everything. Pretty cool. And again, you just pop that open and all the wheat shall be here. That's going to be really good for hay bales, which we can sell on to the villagers. Then we have a sheep farm. Sheep, 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 sheep. I started off with one and I was like, all right, so we could just add more. Um, I can change the colors of the sheep at any point in time, which is great. Again, a duplicate of the mindful one. I think I've changed the design a little bit, but it's kind of pretty. And we are stocked up with black wool. And the reason we're going for black wool is simply because we can sell that to the villagers as well. I want to get to a point where we are so stocked up on emeralds, we can buy anything that it would be risky to go and collect, such as blaze rods, ender pearls, and of course, enchanting books, which is going to be a big thing in the future. So there we go. Um, and as we come down here, this is the same kind of design that we had before, where we can just walk through and collect all of the loot in one go. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it works. And I've just extended this round here so I can go and collect both of the two new farms over here. It's completely unnecessary and it looks terrible. It just makes my life a lot easier if I go AFK. I can just walk through and collect the loot for everything. When I get some hoppers, I can kind of put them all together. We've got the little cactus thing going pretty good here. We've got loads of dye, which is a lovely jobly. I do need to put some more coal in there at some point. The house is pretty much the same. I did make an enchantment table, which pretty happy with. Of course, I found my first couple of diamonds in the last episode. Yeah, I got a shit ton of gold as well. We got five diamonds left. I have no idea what we're going to be doing with these, but... And I think for the next episode, I'm going to be overhauling the entire base because this just looks super amateur. I want to make it a lot more secure so that I don't have to worry too much about mobs and things like that. And of course, I want to make it look kind of pretty in the process. So I may just tear the whole thing down and then rebuild from scratch. I've also got some diamond tools, which you guys may have noticed. They're actually enchanted. They've got like really low level enchantments, like Fortune 1. This one literally has silk touch and that's it. <laughs> Sharpness 2 and knockback 1 on the diamond sword. And oh, the bow's pretty good, actually. Power 3 and infinity. But yeah, super low level enchantments. I just wanted to make sure, A, I needed the silk touch for the sheep farm because the grass wouldn't grow. Some kind of fortune is better than nothing when you're starting out. So finished up this little bit here for the nether portal. I just want to make this look prettier at some point in the future. And of course, we have the tree farms. I've kept this one here for now. Whether that's going to be a, a consistent thing, I don't know. And then over here, we have a much larger sheep sheep these are weird looking ships <laughs> we have a massive tree farm i could make an automated one this was just a quick fix because i needed a holy fuck ton of wood for the barn and this did a great supply but i kept having trees randomly grow higher than expected so i i placed all these blocks and it stops them going crazy they just they, they stay as miniature little trees like these now which is nice trees like these i'm a poet and i didn't even know it same over here just a couple of slabs on top stop them overgrowing it's the most annoying thing when you need wood and the trees just branch out and all of a sudden you have like fucking roots and shit growing everywhere with leaves and it's like just stop and coming over here i don't think this has changed very much we had the strips and the fences and stuff but it's just the same it's just the same design it's just the same it's just what is wrong with my speech today it's just the same design we got some pumpkins here gonna throw in some melons maybe sugarcane bamboo all that kind of stuff but for now it works and then of course we have the big boy the thing that i spent a ridiculous amount of time trying speech work with me a ridiculous amount of time trying to make it look half decent and of course i was limited on resources so i can go and add in like a bunch of carpets and stuff but i think we did pretty good so as we come through here we've got a little thing for the cows i tried matching all of the themes for the barns to make them look as good as possible we got something here for sheep we got a little pig thing you know we got loads of compost which is essentially a big thing of mush and shit and the piggy's going to be going in there sheep cows and then over here we got some chicken stuffs these hoppers have literally no function whatsoever maybe i'll throw in a chest underneath or something but the likelihood of those exact squares catching the eggs pretty unlikely but it kind of fits with the the aesthetic so we got some chickens over here we've got a little rabbit thing which is super cute it's pretty and then over here we have a little horses stable which is going to be pretty small but of course i'm not going to be making hundreds of horses so we'll just keep like a two or three good guys in here out back i was actually thinking of extending this and having like a bee farm we'll get to that another time going upstairs in the barn we have a little living area it's super basic again i was limited on supplies yeah it's it's kind of cute i like how this turned out got a little balcony so we can overlook all the pillagers that show up and try to kick our ass this space is is blank because i don't know what the hell to put here leave a comment down below if you have any 
any ideas because I am clueless. We have an auto cooker smoker thing. So we literally put the raw food up here, goes through hopper into the smoker. The smoker cooks meat and whatever faster than furnace or blast furnace. Then that goes straight into a chest at the bottom. These are all fueled out back here by buckets of lava, which I pretty much have an unlimited supply of in my strip mine. And then we have a couple of furnaces out back here just in case we want to do a little bit of extra firepower. So we're doing some meat here, meat here. We could throw in some cactuses, iron ore, stuff like that. And then of course over here we have a storage room. Again, I didn't really know what to do here in terms of designs because it was a little bit weird in terms of space and I can't have barrels on the ceiling. So I'm just going to be putting all of the raw supplies here, cook supplies underneath that or maybe the other way around and then have all the veggies, the sugar cane, the cactuses, the pumpkins, the melons and everything else going all along both sides. And don't ask me what the fuck this design is. Um, I, I was out of ideas at this point. And then we have a little dining table. It's super cute. And the chandelier. The chandelier looks fucking awful though. <laughs> so that is pretty much it for all of the updates and whatnot. I don't really have much else to show you. So I'm actually going to wrap it up here. I've got a couple of episodes to prep for the, the following week. I mostly just want to show you guys what I have been doing while I've been away. I haven't been neglecting the world. Don't worry. <laughs> if you guys like videos like this where it's more replay mod updates, all that kind of stuff, showing you my base rather than like action packed adventures, let me know when I make more of these. I personally prefer going out, kicking ass, taking names. But we do what we do, and I feel like all of the upgrades and everything that we've made this week are super essential. Next week, we're going to overhaul the base, and then the week after that, we're probably going to be getting as many emeralds as we possibly can, which we can then use to immediately go and take out some of the biggest bosses in Minecraft. All right, thank you so much for watching today's episode. I love your faces. You're amazing. You're beautiful. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. All right, peace.